Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video on the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a few coronavirus updates. Uh, if you do hear like wind or like noises, the um, window is open. Uh, I think I might be coming down with something at the moment. <laughs> it's not coronavirus. Touch wood. Uh, so yeah, pretty hot at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be going over some uh, things that's been happening in the past uh, few days. Uh, not only in the UK but some places around the world too. So the health secretary has insisted on question time that a massive effort was underway to deliver personal protective equipment to NHS staff and social care providers. Uh, he said that 2.6 million masks and 10,000 bottles of hand sanitizer have been shipped in the past 24 hours and promised that every hospital will have a fresh delivery by the end of Sunday. A junior doctor in Western Supermare appeared on the program to tell him her colleagues are frightened of ending up in a situation similar to Italy's in a few weeks. She asked how vital equipment would be rationed when the NHS becomes overwhelmed. I know that there are concerns on the front line around making sure that the protective equipment keeps coming, Mr Hancock said in response. I can tell you that over the last 24 hours we've shipped 2.6 million masks, 10,000 bottles of hand sanitizer, and we have a growing effort to get that equipment to the front line. Overnight we're going to get 150 hospitals the next pack of protective equipment that they need. We've got this all in storage in case there's a pandemic like this and there are literally lorries on the road right now. Some hospitals will get it overnight tonight and then the rest will get their next load before the end of the weekend. Matt Hancock also revealed uh, on Question Time that 1,400 companies have come forward to turn their manufacturing capabilities to make ventilators amid fears of a nationwide short shortage. The government was caught on, caught on the hop. Andy Burnham, the mayor of Greater Manchester, has accused the government of failing to help those people most in need amid the worsening coronavirus outbreak. Speaking on this evening's question time, the former Labour Health Minister said the government has done the least for the people who need it the most. Low income, self-employed, not employed. Pointing to frontline medics, shop staff and other public facing workers, Mr Burnham added, they can't follow self-isolation because they need to work. They should have been the first to be looked after and not the last. Earlier in the day, the PM said the UK bailout will not be like in 2008 in terms of offering extensive financial help to the banks. Instead, he's focusing on the people now. Matt Hancock, the current health minister, also defended the government's actions on question time, saying that the response on the economic side from the Chancellor has been unbelievably fast. Tom Solomon, a professor of neurology, hit back that the government appears to have been caught on the hop. In case you missed Boris Johnson's press conference, here's a reminder of what was said. Britain can turn the tide within the next 12 weeks, plans to deliver up to 250,000 tests for COVID-19, human vaccine trials expected for April, and the PM owed his population to follow government advice over social distancing. The Cannes Film Festival was postponed due to the pandemic. The 73rd Cannes Film Festival has been postponed over coronavirus. The event, which is held in France and is one of the key events in the film industry calendar, has been scheduled to take place from the 12th of May. However, organisers have said that they now hope that the festival will be able to take place in June or July. The hashtag there with you. Local newspapers across the UK are set to publish the same front page in a show of support to their readers amid the coronavirus outbreak. Daily regional titles throughout England, Scotland and Wales have joined forces to launch the There With You campaign to reassure the public. Publishers are Archon Reach, JPI Media. Newsquest and Elife are back in the campaign which will see the same front pages released on Friday. The front page bearing the headline, When You're On Your Own, We Are There With You, focuses on community togetherness, particularly in relation to the elderly and vulnerable. Israel steps up lockdown measures. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin something uh, has tightened the nation's existing lockdown policy, announcing guidelines aimed at the halting spread of the coronavirus will now be enforced by police under emergency orders. Under these orders, you, Israel citizens, are required to stay at home. It's no longer a request, it is not a recommendation, it is an obligatory di directive will be, that will be enforced by enforcement authorities. So um, thank you guys for watching this video, uh, I do hope that this has got you a bit up to date on coronavirus and um, 
things. Uh, I'm only saying this because I'm not going to say the full outro, um, so, because I'm going to go straight to the information, and then it's going to cut. So yeah. Uh, the competition rules relax to allow supermarkets to collaborate in feeding the UK. Supermarkets are set to collaborate as part of efforts to continue feeding the nation after the government agreed to temporarily relax competition rules. With certain restrictions lifted, retailers will be able to pull staff, share data on stock levels and share distribution depots and delivery vans. Oh well, looks like we have <laughs> enough time for the outro. Thanks for watching. I hope that you are a little bit more updated on um, all the coronavirus things. See you next time.